Hi, welcome to the seventh tutorial of our draw symbol challenge. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw this peacock using metallic pencil colors. So let's get started. I'm going to use these specific metallic pencils, but you can also use your Faber-Castell classic color pencils instead of this. So first of all, I'm going to use this blue color and make a rough circle for the head. Then extend or reshape the left portion into a beak and attach the neck to the right side of the circle, just like this. You can also use brown color for the beak and these feathers on the head. Then I'm going to use this blue color for the details inside the circle and then use the same color to fill the blue areas of the head and neck with a base layer. The shine of these metallic pencils are different than my expectations. I even tried adjusting the studio lights to a different angle but you cannot see the shine in the camera. Maybe these colors are cheap or maybe it's because of the paper but I think you can get the same results with your normal pencil colors. I tried using this black color for the contrast but it was so light that I had to use this black 399 from my Faber-Castell Classic. So all you have to do is add this circular texture over the blue base by using this type of scribbling motion. For this white area around the eye, I also used this white 301 from my Faber-Castell Classic. Then I used this light green color for the greenish tint in the feathers near the neck portion and also around the eye. Then I used the black color for the required contrast and black feathers were required. And by the way, the real time version of this tutorial is available on my Patreon profile. Link is in the description. I'm going to use this brown color for the eye and then use the black color to add the contrast and details around it. And also fill the pupil with pitch black color. Now for the beak, I'm going to fill it with a base layer of white and then use the brown color for the details and outlines. And then use the black color for the contrast near the nostrils etc. Now for the feathers on the top, I'm going to add these lines using this brown color. And then use the blue color to fill the base layer for these feathers on the ends. And then use this black color with this faded line technique to add contrast in the starting portions, just like this. And in the end, use this cherry roll pen or correction pen for the sharp white highlights on the feathers, eyes, and where required. I hope you are enjoying our draw sample series which is a month long challenge where I will upload one tutorial every other day. I designed this for absolute beginners so everyone can join me in this fun filled drawing challenge. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.